What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today we are going to be covering on a Ask the Dream Team video a very important question that all of our customers are wondering when they're first looking to get into a home theater in their new home. And that's what is the average cost for a home theater in 2021? Well, you guys know that as a nationwide brand, we literally have our hands in so many different neighborhoods and communities and uh, ship product everywhere. So we've put together thousands and thousands of theater packages at this point, and we feel that we have some very valuable information to share with you on this topic. So if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and show your support. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. All right, I'm gonna be bringing Chris and Kellen from Dream Media on the meeting and they are gonna give you their two cents. All right, guys, let's get into this video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Dream Team, answering your YouTube comments. What we're gonna talk about today is, what is the average cost for a home theater, all of the equipment, in 2021? And I got Kellen and Chris, that home theater dude, with Dream Media here, and we are gonna discuss that in detail. Now, for you guys that don't wanna watch the whole video, my initial thoughts are 10 to 20 grand. All right, Chris, give them more info. Yeah, so that 10 to 20 grand kind of fits into um, a, a, a wide space, right? So typically, I'm going to say that um, usually our 5.2, either 2 or 4 system with a projection system, subwoofers, and all the other accessories with AVR and stuff like that, that's probably going to run you right around that 12 to, to 15K mark. Now, if you want to jump into the extras and go the extra mile with a better projector, a better screen, and um, you know, just better, better premium components, then you're probably talking about jumping up the budget from there. I mean, is, is, is it absolutely necessary to spend that, uh, that 12 G's on that 5.1, that 5.2.2? You know, you, you can definitely get away with it with doing, um, you know, a, a little more affordable with some, uh, you know, more affordable products. But besides that, typically by and large, you know, the, the, most, the most common systems that I see come in that are asking for a consultation is going to be right in that that area so it's not an absolute you know maximum you can definitely we, we can customize it for you and we can figure it out from there but you can go into those more premium systems like i, I sold a, a system out here in katie that's roughly twenty five thousand um twenty five thousand dollars and his system is is pretty premium so he, he he went with some more premium products but with jumping up to the extra tier is the the more premium type of return that you're going to be getting on that now it's not for everyone. Not everyone can afford that 20K right off the bat. Um, but, you know, that's where we come in. We sit there and we, we analyze and, and discuss with you on what's important and what's what you would like to do right now. And, and that's basically how we do it. Go ahead, Kellen. I said, just kind of going with the times, you know, a lot of builders are where they used to just throw five speakers in the ceilings. Well, now you're kind of getting some builders that are doing dedicated rooms that you know, nine channels, certainly seven channels is kind of the new norm. Uh, zero edge screens, uh, that minimalistic look, those things all add to the cost. So as Chris was saying, you can certainly get in cheaper, but by the time you start doing nine speakers at a couple hundred dollars, that more expensive receiver now that used to just have to power five channels now has to power seven, nine or more. You know, those things just add to it. So I, I would say Zach's right around that 10 to 12K is what you can expect from a somewhat modest system here uh, in 2021. But certainly, um, if your budget allows, we can go more than that um, with more premium products. But um, we can certainly go less than that, too. So that's just a good, happy medium of good for your cost, the bang for your buck. So, yeah. And then it, there's always value that, and performance guys. Every single day, I constantly preach value and performance. And that's what we do here at dream media is we get all of the industry leading products and we do comparison videos of them and let you know, well, although this product, 
you know, is better, it also costs more. So <laughs> there's that aspect of it. And with the packages, it's the same thing. Like the reason I throw out that number of 10 to 20 grand is even though that's a large, I mean, it's double the cost to go up to 20 grand, but that is the sweet spot because under 10 grand, you might have a really nice E-Shift 4K projector and then like something under nine channels more than likely. And then whenever you get up closer to 20 grand, you're definitely going up to 11 to 13 channels or well, depending on cost, you're you're getting up there into a more advanced surround sound, more advanced Dolby Atmos configuration, typically targeting like two rows of seating versus one row of seating. And then you're going to like native 4K. But all of these things we specialize in and we're going to break out line by line by line so that you guys can see what it does cost because you can spend $10,000 just on the projector. Or you can spend 4,000. So we have the options available guys. And um, our summary here is 10, 10 to 20 grand is about what a, a decent bang for your buck, still nice performance. It's gonna blow your friends away, but not, you know, blow the bank. Blow your wallet away. Yeah, it, it's not gonna be crazy cost. Um, that's what it costs in 2021 for a decent home theater system. So I hope this yeah, I uh, video helped you guys out with just getting started and like budgeting because it's really hard for us whenever we're on the, the phone with clients and you know they say they want a 7.2.4 and native 4k projection for five grand um it just doesn't add up <laughs> um and you'll see that whenever you talk to us and we we line it out on paper for you okay what did you guys think that is a wrap on what the average cost of a home theater is in 2021. Uh, this is a huge topic, guys, and don't be intimidated by the 10 to $20,000 range. We have options as little as 6K, and honestly, you can piece it together for even less. Uh, we itemize all of our quotes so you can pick and choose um, exactly what you'd like to purchase. Um, and we offer a free consultation service with all the industry leading products to choose from. So that's all I got for you guys. Reach out and show your support. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.